Good morning and happy Easter. This morning I just wanted to bring you a short devotional um, about the meaning of the resurrection. I hope this will be an encouragement to you and a good way to start your morning off. First of all, the resurrection means that Jesus is alive. In Revelation 1.18, Jesus declares that I am the living one. I died and behold, I am alive forevermore. And I have the keys of death and Hades. So those who have trusted in Christ know and serve a living Savior. And on that basis, we have a living hope that grows each day as we anticipate the Lord's return. Secondly, Jesus is who he claimed to be. The resurrection is the most clarifying and substantiating event of all time because it proves that Jesus is everything he claimed to be. He is the Christ. He is the Son of God. He is the Savior of the world, just as he claimed to be. Paul declared that Jesus was declared to be the Son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. Thirdly, Jesus saves. The Bible teaches us that each one of us is a sinner by nature because we are descendants of the first sinner, and particularly of Adam, who is the head of the human race in his position as the first man. And so all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, according to Romans 3.23. And our sin condemns us, and it separates us from God because he is perfectly holy and completely without sin. But Jesus came to bring salvation from sin and to bridge the relational gap that exists between God and us because of our sin from the very get-go. And when he died, Jesus provided the perfect once-for-all sacrifice that atones for the sins of anyone and everyone who trusts in him as their Savior from sin. Jesus saves anyone and everyone everyone who trusts fully in his sacrifice alone as God's only provision for salvation from sin, its penalty, and power. Fourthly, Jesus is Lord. Forty days after the resurrection, Jesus ascended to glory where he now is at the right hand of the Father. He is exalted and he is worthy of our obedience, our service, and our worship. Colossians 3, 1 says, Therefore, if you've been raised up with Christ, keep seeking the things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. In verse 2, set your mind on the things above, not on the things that are on the earth. Fifth, Jesus is coming again. Jesus promised to return, and the resurrection assures that he will keep his promise. Jesus is coming again. It's just a question of when. Jesus promised his disciples that he would go and prepare them a place that where he is, they and ultimately we all believers might be also. Sixth, Jesus is ministering on our behalf right now. Hebrews 7.25 says that he is able to save to the uttermost those who draw near to God through him since he always lives to make intercession for them. He is our living, ascended Lord. His ministry on our behalf continues, and he is praying for us even now. And then finally, Jesus is with us. Matthew 28, 19, and 20 says, We have um, the great commission of Christ there to his church. And in verse 20, he promised, Lo, I am with you even to the end of the age. You know, the question is, how can Jesus be in heaven and with us at the same time? Well, the answer to that question is because he is in us through the presence and ministry of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Before he died and rose again, Jesus promised his disciples and ultimately all believers that I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the spirit of truth, 
whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him or knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you yet a little while, and the world will see me no more, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. In that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I am in you. Christ indwells the believer through the ministry and power of the Holy Spirit. And so we can truly say with Paul that Christ lives in us and he's with us and goes with us wherever we are and go. So these are just a few reasons for us to rejoice. Rejoice, Christian. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed.